Hey, welcome to Puzzle Tumblers Presents. I'm going to show you today how to make the cutest, inexpensive room freshener, and you probably already have most of the stuff to do it. You will have to order some things on Amazon if you do not have them. And um, this cup right here is one of the frosted um, mason jars from Puzzle Tumblers. It does come with a lid and a straw, so you don't have to do this with it, but I wanna show you that you can do more with it than just drink out of it. So, puzzletumblers.com. You're going to need this. I do have a decorate, decorated uh, lid. I bought these on Amazon. Most of these I get, of the stuff I get, I get on Amazon. But this is decorative lid is really great because then when you put it in your bathroom, um, the lid's not, the top isn't open, so you don't have to worry about things spilling out. I love these things. They're really great because um, then you can put fabric over the top of this, make it bellow out or whatever, put a bow on it, put this on top and give it as a gift. You're going to need water. I have two cups of just plain old tap water. Um, and I have some spray bottles because I wanna show you, you'll probably have some of the liquid left over. So um, I do have spray bottles that I like to give as little gifts you can put on the side. Um, I don't know, in the bathroom, give a whiff, spray after you, whatever. Anyway, so I just have a couple of these. I do keep these around because when I make these, I always have leftover. They're great for inside of your car or whatever. Um, I am going to be using um, Fresh Cake from Stay Fresh with Peanut. I do have a code and I'll make sure to put it down at the bottom along with the code for purchasing the um, mason jar. I have a, a code of my own that you can receive a discount. And um, with Stay Fresh, you're going to receive a discount on his oils only. You are going to need polysorbate 20. This is a food grade, so it's non-toxic. Um, it's really great for um, stabilizing. It's great for perfumes or anything like that. So I like to use this one because it is food grade and it is what I use to help my oil mix with my water because this will not mix with water, but with a couple of drops of this, it will. I'm gonna show you how to do that. You're going to need a whisk, of course, to um, make the water and the oil mix together along with the polysorbate. 20 again, I'm going to show you what this is. I got two bottles and I have literally only used about a fourth of um, the bottle that I have opened and I've, been, I've made a ton of these. And finally, you're going to need this. I found the miracle Grow is just as good as the name brand stuff. This is the stuff that you're going to find inside of diapers and it absorbs liquid and it stays absorbed and it's fantastic. But if you have this, you can also use this in your soil, in your plants, and it helps the water to stay in the soil and helps your plant to stay moisturized. And every time you add water to it, they puff up again. But we're gonna use this in our room freshener today. Um, so let's get started. Okay, as I said, I have two cups of just regular old tap water. Nothing special, not hot, not warm, just directly out of the tap. The next thing we're going to need is your oils. I do like to use uh, my fragrance oils that are for um, candles simply because they're, to me, they're better. Oh. I'm going to use a tablespoon. This is a half a tablespoon. I'm going to use a tablespoon of the oil in the water. It doesn't need much, but if you feel like you want it to be really extra special, smelly, add more. It's okay. It's up to you how you want this to, to smell. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add in our polysorbate. Um, again, this is a emulsifying agent. This is going to allow the oil in the um, fragrance oil and the water to mix together. I'm going to add two tablespoons of that. You know what? I don't think I add enough liquid. I'm gonna add a tablespoon and a half of this and I think I need two more of this. I think I only added two of this. If not, as I said, it's no big deal. Fun thing is you can also mix your fragrances together. So if you have strawberry and you have leather, you can mix them together and you can have strawberry leather, which is one of my favorite smells. All right, so as you can tell, 
The oil is floating on the top. There's water on the bottom. It's not going to do anything, I promise you. But I've added the polysorbate, and so we're going to mix it up. As you can see, it is turning into bubbles. That's a good thing. That means they're mixing well together. They're playing nicely together, and it smells amazing. If you have boy bathroom, if you have a baby room, if you have a litter box, this, what I'm about to show you, is really great. But you can also sell this or just the spray, the fragrance spray um, at farmer's markets or whatever, because it is amazing how smelly this is. It's not as bad smelly. It's a good smelly. This smells like cake. And this is how it looks. It looks like bubble bath. It's an emulsifier and it has soap in it. So it's breaking up that oil and allowing it to mix with the water. Put this aside, let it do its thing. And now we're going to bring our mason jar back in. Um, the other day I did post this on puzzletumblers.com. It is um, a sublimation jar. And if you look very closely, you can see the, um, the white portion. Um, I'm going to keep this jar for myself. I have learned something that I need to make sure that there's a little more detail on the inside, but I do enjoy the jar. So now it's going to be one of my uh, scent jars. And we're going to add in our water storing crystals. It doesn't take much guys, because once you add water, it starts to um, fill up and 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 this whole thing will be full and it lasts a month. And then I'm gonna add two tablespoons of this into the bottom of the jar. And I'm making it easy guys, two tablespoons of everything. And if you'll see, you think to yourself, but that's not a whole lot. Well, no, it isn't a whole lot, but it is a whole lot. It's kind of like popcorn. When you put popcorn into a popcorn popper, you think that's not gonna make a lot. So you add a little bit more and it goes everywhere. No, I haven't done that, but I'm gonna go on. I digress. Now we're going to add our water. You can add um, um, coloring into your water as well. I would suggest using the colorant that is for candles. I am not going to do that because my jar is already yellow. All I'm going to do is pour the water into my glass. You don't wanna to go to the top because you need to give it a little bit of room for those crystals to expand. It's gonna take about 10 minutes and then you can put it anywhere you want. I promise you, 10 minutes, this is going to be completely full of little crystals. I will show that to you in a little bit. Put your decorative lid on top and we're done. That's it, I'd put it on its side, but we'd have liquid everywhere. However, if you'll see, I still have liquid left over. So I'm going to add it to my little spray bottles. I will put one in one bathroom. I'll put one in my car. There's still a little bit more. You can sell these at the farmer's markets or you can give them away. This costs about $1.50 to make. And the most expense is going to be your spray bottles. Put your logo on the side. Put your, um, put your business card on the side and give these away as your business card. That way they don't get thrown away and they'll always have a good smelling spray. This is five minutes later, it's completely absorbed, and this is what it looks like. And I wish that we had smell a video because guys, this is smells so good. But that's all there is to it. Put the lid on it, put it wherever you need good smelling room or whatever. You can put it in your car, you can give it as a gift. But this is five minutes after we did the, uh, we added the water to the absorbing water beads. Again, that is the Miracle Grow. I purchased mine on Amazon, but I think you could probably purchase them at any place that has, um, has the um, nurseries, but these, it's just the stuff that you find inside of diapers. So I'm sure there are other things you can use. I believe this is the same stuff that you find inside of the little crystals in the shoe boxes. Anyhow, I just wanted to show you what it was going to look like when it was all over. I hope that I was able to show you something new that you can do <clears throat> with your mason jars from Puzzle Tumblers. Again, I will leave my code at the bottom and I will leave the code at the bottom for um, the oils over at Stay Fresh with Peanut. I hope you have an amazing day and please, if this is on um, YouTube, subscribe to our channel, like our channel, comment below all of the good things so that way you'll never miss when I post another fun thing on Puzzle Tumblers Presents. Take care.